Welcome to Money in the Air, the music podcast about neighboring rights, the royalties you earn from the public performance of your recordings and the business of music in general. Brought to you by IFR, the International Association for Artists and Rights Holders. I'm Andrew, a royalty consultant helping artists to collect on their value. Hi, I'm Gina Deacon. I work for Absolute Rights Management and I work with record labels and artists to ensure we claim the royalty income due to them. I'm Stacey Haber and I'm from Inside Baseball Music Publishing. Hi. Hi, I'm Tanya Oliveira. I work for Transparency Entertainment Group. I focus on World X USA neighboring rights on the performer side and rights holder side. Hello, welcome back to Money in the Air, the neighboring rights podcast brought to you by IFR, the International Association for Artists and Rights Holders. It is February now, so you are over your January slump. You are thinking about money again, so you're thinking about neighboring rights and royalties. We're going to take you back to the basics. And this will be an annual thing. Back to the basics, February, starting from the beginning. And we're going to start with top tips. Andrew, what's your top tip for the basics of neighboring rights? Number one tip is just register with Sound Exchange. It's free to register, both as the performer, as the artist, and as the label owner. So I would just say sign up. That's number one. The number two is make sure that you're claiming the recordings that are in Sound Exchange's database so you can receive the money that's due to you. Gina, what's your top tip going back to basics? My top tip is similar to Andrew's, but based on the UK for artists and performers, musicians living in the UK. If you have featured on a recording, join PPL. It's free to join. It's your income it's money that's due to you you wouldn't walk past a pile of money sitting on a table you might do but if it's your money that's sitting on that table you wouldn't walk past it if somebody said to you here's a thousand pounds you've earned it would you say no it's fine I'm all right thanks I'll leave it there no you wouldn't that could be sitting waiting for you on the PPL database it could be more it could be less we don't know right now but if you performed on a recording join PPL. It's simple to do and it's free to do. What you have to do, access the PPL website, pplukcom That's it. Log into that, select that you want to join and they're going to run through some admin details with you. General stuff, you know, name, address and so on. They're going to want some ID from you to verify who you are. They're going to want your tax details and so on. There's about five pages. It takes around about 15 to 20 minutes to do, but it's so worthwhile. Once they process that for you, they'll give you a membership number. Once you have your membership number, you are free to claim on any recording that you have performed on. You must have performed on it. You can't just claim on any recording because they're going to want some evidence, okay? Yeah, that in mind. They may well come back to you for some evidence, but go ahead. So that's my first top tip is join PPL. My second, as somebody who is incredibly organized, is make a list. I say this in so many podcasts. Sit down and think about what you've done and write a list, whether it's on paper, whether it's on a computer Excel sheet, but do that and get yourself in order. And if there's too much to think about, find yourself a rep and a rep will do that for you. My top tip is if you own your own recordings, register the recordings first. Register with your local CMO. If you're in the US, it's Sound Exchange. If you're in the UK, it's PPL. If you're in Germany, it's GVL. Look it up. Register as a rights holder or whatever the term is in your country and register the recording first because in everywhere except the US, You'll never get paid as a performer if the recording isn't registered by the rights holder. And if you're a DIY artist, you're the rights holder. So it's easy. You can do both. You can get both. And like Gina says, you might have already earned the money. Go and collect it. Crazy not to. Stacey, can you go over what does it mean to be the rights owner? Just in layman's terms. The easiest definition is whoever pays for the recording owns it. So if you come to my studio and use my equipment, I own the recording. If you hire out a studio for the day, you own the recording. If you made it in your bedroom, you own the recording. Until until somebody else pays for it, you own it. Until you assign it, you own it. If you are signed to a label, 
and they pay for you to go into the studio, they own it. If you sign to a label after you made it and you own it and you only do an administration deal or a license, you still own it, but the licensee label will ask for the right to register the recording with their ISRC number. And if you don't have an ISRC number, when you register with your CMO, like Sound Exchange or PPL, they will give you one. It's free. If you're not sure, email us at info at ifr.co.uk and we'll help you figure out if you're the right soldier. Last tip on my end is here in the US at Sound Exchange, if you are a producer, make sure that every single producer agreement includes a sound exchange letter of direction that the artist will then submit to sound exchange you can get an allocation of your due producer royalties from their artist share um, this is very important because if the LOD is not signed by the artist you will not get paid your producer royalty from sound exchange just like you're due a producer royalty from the actual label or the distributor that letter of direction that sound exchange needs to get signed in the UK, that letter of direction is called the Eligible Studio Producer Form, and you can get it from the PPL website. And let me tell you how much this income stream is worth. 2019, it was worth 278.4 million in Germany alone. In the UK, it was 225 million. In France, it was 238 million. In the US, it was worth nearly a billion dollars. 947 million. Surely you want a piece of that if you've already earned it, don't you? Great tips, guys. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for listening. Remember, go to www.ifr.co.uk, become a member, hit that join now button, and email us if you have any questions. We're here to help. Thanks.